congratulations on getting your site bulb. I'm here to show you how to get it set up and running in minutes. Remember, you can stop, pause, or rewind this video at any time. So before we get started, you'll need your site bulb plugged in with the power on, your phone, an email address to sign up and use as your login, the site bulb app downloaded, and a strong Wi-Fi connection and the Wi-Fi connection password. Cool, now that we've got all of that, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna open the Sightbulb app. Do that by clicking on the Sightbulb icon. So here's where we're gonna create our account. We need to enter our email address. This is gonna serve as your username and login information. So once we do that, we're gonna click continue. Now we're gonna go ahead and enter a password. I'd recommend writing it down just so you don't forget it. and click sign up right here in the big blue box. Now we've created our account and signed up successfully and we're on our home screen. So let's go ahead and add the site bulb camera. We do that by clicking this blue circle in the upper right with the plus sign. Then click add device, then click Wi-Fi camera right here. Now let's go ahead and make sure your site bulb is plugged in and has power. You may see it rotate or the lights might turn on. If it's not plugged in, go ahead and do that now. Great, now that it's on, we're gonna use the provided pin to reset the camera. It's a tiny hole on the bottom of your sight bulb. Take a second to do that now. Once you've heard the beep, click confirm and then next step in blue. Now here's where we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi. Right here, you can make sure you're connected to the right network. Make sure you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network and not your five gigahertz network. So once that's done, you can enter your Wi-Fi password right here. Once you've entered that, we're gonna click next step. That's gonna bring up a QR code. We're gonna hold our phone in front of the sight bulb so that the camera is pointed at the QR code. Line it up and you should hear a beep or a prompt. If for some reason you don't hear a prompt, I recommend starting this process over and resetting the camera again. Once you hear the prompt, go ahead and click I heard a prompt right here. Now give it a few seconds for your phone to connect to Wi-Fi in the sight bulb and you can see the progress right down here. Okay, cool, it looks like it's connected, so it will automatically bring you to this screen where you can name your site bulb. There's a lot of options, but I'm just gonna call this one site bulb one. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that right here and then click done. That's gonna bring us to the home screen of the app where now we can see the camera view. To go live view, you just click the image right here and that brings up the live view mode. Now, for most of us, it's gonna start in the split screen mode and to change that, we just click the little icon that looks like a screen right up here, and that pulls up this menu. From here, we can select single screen mode, and now it's gonna look like this. Right here, you can press this to record, this to listen in, this one to take a picture, and this to turn on and off the light. And finally, this one's gonna make it go full screen. Now, this joystick is how you can control the camera. Make sure you check out some of our other videos for a more in-depth look at all of those awesome features. So that's how you set up your Sightbulb HD camera. To set up additional cameras, you would follow these same steps, and of course, we have another video on that too. And there you have it. Your Sightbulb is officially set up and connected to Wi-Fi. And now you can view it from anywhere. 